At the end of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use force fields to make Mantaflow liquid simulations flow across a curve like this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, step number one, select the default cube. Let's rename it to a domain and create a new collection called domain. And we'll chuck our domain in our domain collection and then go to the physics properties, click on fluid, domain, liquid. You want your resolution to be as high as possible, but if you don't have a really good PC, um, 64 should probably be the minimum required for this exercise. And normally I turn on mesh and I make it resumable and I select play all. Right, so now that we've got our domain set up, we're gonna hide it just for a minute um, and we'll get back to it. We're gonna press numpad one, shift A, we're gonna create a curve now quickly, a path we'll use. Tab to go into edit mode and you can just select these individual vertices and you can create an interesting curve or sh like shape curve thing. When you get to the end, you can just press E to keep growing your curve like I'm doing right here and you also want to for example let's select these two right click subdivide select this middle one numpad 7 turn on proportional editing G scroll this out bring it out like that select these two let's subdivide select this middle one numpad 7 and we press G, maybe bring it out like this. Then press tab to go into object mode and we've created some interesting shape. I'm quite happy with the look of that shape. It looks good to me. One thing I'm gonna do just out of preference, you don't have to do this. I'm just gonna bring this, turn off proportional editing and I'm gonna select this individual shape and just bring it closer to here. It's not really needed, but I wanna do that. Right, next thing you want to do is make sure your scale, rotation, and location is 0, 0, 0, 0, and this is 1, 1, 1, 1. Perfect, so that's done. Let's create a new collection called Path. And let's put our NUPS path in there, and then we click on Force Field. We need to make the shape a curve. We need to make the strength. Negative 5 will be pretty good or higher. Um, it has to be a negative number. So when I say negative five or high, I mean negative six is higher than negative five in, in this example. <laughs> Flow strength, you want to set to one, and then this is set. The only thing you want to change once you've done that, let's just double check. Yep, uh, that's about it. Nothing else really needs to be changed. Cool. The next thing we want to do is select, press Shift A, and we're going to use A, UV or UV sphere or icosphere doesn't really matter. I'm going to shade this smooth. Actually, we'll leave it at the default size, but just make sure that the uh, location is all set to zero. Very important, or else you're going to run into issues. Um, right now, with that set, create a new collection. We call this collection flow. Put the sphere in here, rename the sphere flow, and go to the physics properties fluid flow, liquid, you can leave it on geometry which means it will only use the liquid within the sphere or you could make it like a tap which just pours out water and you could use keyframes to turn off the tap at a certain point but in this example I'm just going to use geometry because that's more than fine for what I'm trying to do. You can up the sampling for a better result but I don't care for that in this tutorial. I'm gonna, next thing you want to do is you want to make your domain visible and you want to scale this domain, Ooh, hold on, you want to select your domain and scale it up and turn on wireframe mode with x-ray turned on and sx numpad 3 sy we're just making sure that everything definitely fits in here and that looks perfectly fine to me right next thing to pay attention to is your voxels this size and our flow has to be larger than your voxel whilst you're going to run into issues and it won't work. So this looks perfectly fine to me. The next step is, next thing you want to do is select your domain and just make sure you go down all the way to field weights and make your gravity zero. That is a crucial part. Other than that, we should be ready to bake. I'm just looking at all the settings quick, 64, 
mesh, all resumable. Okay, cool, let's back it in. All right, now that the render is complete, we can press, let's go to the material viewport, right click shade smooth, let's hide our flow. And by the way, you would, when you, if you ever decided to render this, you would make sure that your flows are always not viewable in the render, which is crucial. Probably want to add a material to this, and the water material is also known as the glass BSDF. And perhaps you'd like to make it 0 0.2, and then just change the color here to a slightly more blue. That looks pretty cool. All right, so now when we press play, spacebar, you can see the water follows the path perfectly as if the water were possessed or as if you were an airbender. This is an example one. I'll make another video now today quickly showing you another way to do this that also looks pretty cool. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.